Hello friends, have you ever realized that if an adult or a child is drooling, the reason could be abnormal tongue position? Take a minute to realize where is your tongue exactly in a resting position? No talking, no eating. Is it at the floor of the mouth or is it touching the hard palate, the hard part at the roof of the mouth? You will be surprised that more than 50% people have their tongue resting at the floor of the mouth and it can lead to drooling. Let us discuss what is the ideal resting position for tongue and how to correct it. Let us see what happens if the tongue rests at the floor of the mouth. It pushes the jaw downward, keeping the mouth open and can result in drooling. Also, if the tip of the tongue is down, its back part will be higher. So, it can block or narrow the airway. What will happen as a result? Snoring, sleep apnea, forget your sleep quality. And if you try to bring it down, the tongue will be pushed forward. Tongue thrust again keeps the mouth open and can lead to drooling. Also, your mouth and lips will remain dry. Another thing, an open mouth can also lead to bad breath. What else can happen? Keeping the tongue down can lead to pain in the jaw joint, which can be referred to the head and the neck as well. There can also be speech problems or swallowing issues in people. And the most common thing that you find is open bite. What is that? If you ask someone to show their teeth, you will find that their back teeth are aligned very well, but the front teeth are not. They don't close properly. Do you know the most common reasons why bad tongue posture is seen? If an adult or a child had a prolonged habit of thumb sucking or nail biting, if passive air was given for too long, if solid foods were introduced very late and in very less quantity, Eating solids improves jaw strength, which does not happen. Or some structural defects, sometimes at birth, like tongue tie. Let us first see what is the ideal tongue position before we see how to correct an abnormal posture. In a resting position, your tongue should be pressed against the roof of your mouth or the hard palate, but not at the back of the front teeth, slightly behind them. You will see there is a good alignment of teeth because of this in kids. Also, it will keep the airway fairly open and does not cause nasal obstructions. Finally, let us see how we can correct the tongue position. Step one is try to avoid all the whys that we discussed before. So avoid any kind of thumb or nail sucking in children, nail biting, too many chewing gums or if the child chews on the clothes or even as an adult. Smoking, overeating, all these should be avoided. And step two are doing some very basic activities and exercises. First, try to use cold water for swallowing because it helps in increasing the awareness of the oral structures and you will know where your tongue is resting in a normal position. Secondly, practice wet and dry swallows. What is that? Take a liquid, take a sip and swallow it, followed by a dry swallow. Thirdly, try to use straws for both dry and wet swallows. That also helps. Fourthly, you would realize that you only chew on one side. So try to chew on both sides alternately. Fifth, if you have to swallow, try to keep your tongue, tip and the middle part pressed against the roof of your mouth. Close your mouth and swallow. And finally, do the same thing with breathing. Same position, tongue against the roof of the mouth. Close your mouth and try to breathe with your nose. You will find that your airway is much more clear. Let me know if these techniques were helpful for you. Please leave it in the comments below and also any queries or suggestions you have for my channel. Also like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Ring the bell icon for notifications whenever my videos are out and we'll meet again soon. Bye.